this video, we're going to look at a practical application from Shuto. Okay, so I come from a Shotokan background, and the way we do Shuto is there's a chambering or a setup position like so. Then this hand comes back to the solar plexus, while the other hand makes the, the so called blocking motion. Uh, the application in this video is going to be kind of an uh, overhook and a strike. They're not going to move in unison, it's going to be a one, two. We're going to do it from a clinch. So I'll see if you can come up. <coughs> We're going to start from a, uh, a neutral grip first of all. So I've got a collar tie as a Steven. Our free hands are going to come over like this. I don't want Steven's hand to come up high, then he has a lot of control over my head. He can easily pull my head down and it's susceptible to knee strikes. So oh, to mitigate that, I want to get my free hand pulled down. Right? He's going to do the same thing for me. So to start the drill, I'm going to take this hand, I'm going to swim it up his chest and get an overhook. Now this is fairly easy to get out of. Uh, but for the sake of the drill, he's going to keep that there. Uh, right, so from here, uh, we'll just go through slowly first. Steven's left hand is going to kind of wind up, take a smack at the side of my head. For practice, you can aim here. Uh, a better target would be kind of the box ears or the side of the jaw. Uh, you don't want to be face to face like this, otherwise we're both susceptible to headbutt. So I want to kind of hide my face, protect it here, hide my ear from getting bitten. Now, his hand is on my arm. As soon as I feel that release, I know I have to start worrying about what my hand is doing. So it's my cue to kind of peek up a little bit and see what's happening and cover myself. So we're down here, the hand comes up, he's gonna give me a smack. So this is a, a really crude uh, application of shoot though right there. So from here, I'm gonna use the, the Hecate. It's gonna be kind of round motion like this. So as soon as I make contact, I'm gonna wrap around here. I've got an overhook here now. The chambering of the shoot okay is going to be used as an elbow straight across the chin. On the way back, I hit him again, side of the neck. Anywhere along the all the bone, the forearm, or the hand, all work really well. From here, I'm going to use a, a tate shoot okay. This is the face wash. So I want to get back to my, my uh, collar tie for the drill. Rub him across the face, back here again. As soon as I'm there, he locks it up again. His other hand is going to give me a hit. I block that again. Overhook. I'm going to change my foot position. Come across with the elbow. So I'm here right now, and I give him a, a smack on the neck again. So face wash. Lock it up again. Right. Other hand release. I feel that. Block. Boom. Boom. Right. Block. Boom. Boom. Like this. Okay. We just keep looping. Now, at some point, we want to change uh, change the roles here. So Stephen's going to take one arm, swim up my chest. He gets a collar tie, I lock that down, and now he wants to get an overhook with his arm. Swim up my chest again, reach up nice and high. Now we're in opposite positions where we started the drill. So here's my free hand. This one's kind of trapped. I'm going to do this open hand strike. He blocks, wraps it around, right? Elbow strike, shoot on. Right, elbow face wash. Right, my free hand again. Hit overhook, elbow shoot though. And we just keep looping like that. Once you're comfortable in doing the drill at learning speed, then it's time to start adding a little bit of intensity. Another thing you can do as well is add a little bit of dirt. So once I get my, my grip, before he strikes, I can throw some elbows, some knees. And then when he feels like it, he can throw the strike. And we start looping to the drill again. Uh, I'm gonna I can throw some axe handles with this hand, separate a little bit, get a little smack like that. I can throw some knees, this hand, mimic some elbow strikes. I'm going to throw a little bit of dirt, rust him up a little bit. Then he's going to use that strike. Over hooks, boom, boom, sorry. Same thing. Throw the dirt, he hits. slowly first, get a rhythm, get a flow so you don't have to think anymore, then start ramp up the speed, intensity, add a bit of dirt. Right, thanks. 